Hello, Namaskar and welcome. Next part of the solution of this case of network analysis, scheduling probabilistic approach. In the previous two lectures, we tried to learn the concepts of expected time as the weighted average of these three times and also the activity variance. We also drawn the power chart or network diagram for this project on the basis of this expected time and also determining the critical path and recognize the critical activities. Now if we believe or if we assume that the total project completion time follows the normal distribution, we can make calculations about our say other expectations or some kind of questions whether can we complete the project before this expected completion time or what is the probability of completing the project before this expected time or after this expected time and this kind of other questions but as we know that to calculate the probabilities Assuming normal distribution, we need to calculate the z-score and to calculate the z-score, we need two important things. One, mean. Like a mean time duration and another is standard deviation of the time duration. What is the mean time? Mean time is this expected time. So, here mean will be the expected time. That is total of duration of all critical activities. And that's why we need to determine the critical path and recognize the critical activities. To find out the mean as well as standard deviation for the purpose of further calculations. Therefore, mean and we know that for normal distribution we use sine mu for mean comes to 17 weeks. To have the value of standard deviation, first of all we have to calculate the variance of the project. Yes. Yes. The variance will be sum of variances of all critical activities. Again, this is also possible to find only if we determine the critical path and recognize the critical activities from the network. Yeah. B. The variance is 1 plus variance of E. Yes, B, E and G are critical activities. B, E and G. Okay, B, E and G. So, variance of E comes to 4 and variance of G also comes to 4. So, variance of the whole project completion time comes to 9. And now we can have the standard deviation. And we know that standard deviation equals to square root of variance. That is square root of 9. That means standard deviation comes to 3 weeks. Yes. In this way, if we assume that the total project completion time follows the normal distribution we can calculate the mean and standard deviation on the basis of the time durations of the critical activities as well as the variances of the critical activities yes to calculate this we need to calculate variances of all the activities because it is not feasible to calculate variances of only critical activities at this stage. That's why 
we the teachers prefer to calculate variances of all the activities wherever we calculate the expected time and at this stage we just need to select the variances of critical activities and the summation of the variances of critical activities itself is the variance of the project time duration and its square root is the standard deviation of the project time duration now we have mean as well as standard deviation so we know that we can calculate the z score and z score is the soul of the normal distribution so in the next few lectures we are going to learn calculating the probability of various kinds of possibilities whether to complete the project before this expected time or completing the project after this expected time and so on that's it thank you very much